On the opening kickoff of a football game, I was tackled in a way that caused my left knee to twist inwards. I felt it tweak, but I managed to turn my physio brain off for long enough to convince myself to go back into the game. Of course, two plays later, I was hit again, and when I tried to regain my balance and plant my left foot, my left knee gave out. I felt a loud pop and a lot of pain and knew pretty immediately that I'd torn my ACL. I had it confirmed with an MRI a few days later, and after taking a few days to be upset about my football season ending and to do a little bit of research, I decided that having ACL reconstruction surgery was right for me and for my goals. The anterior cruciate ligament, or the ACL, is one of the main stabilizing ligaments in your knee. It helps you maintain a stable knee while running, balancing, and changing direction, but it can only resist so many abnormal forces. If your knee moves forward too hard or twists inward strong enough, it's possible for the ACL to give way and tear, resulting in a loud popping sound. So about a week after the injury, I started my rehab. ACL rehab starts almost immediately after an injury. Most surgeons don't like to operate when the knee is still swollen, as there's some research that shows that operating too soon can have negative outcomes on your long-term range of motion. So for me personally, I opted to have my surgery about three months after the injury. Doing a really thorough prehab is one of the most important things you can do in preparation for ACL surgery. For me, I did about four to six weeks of really hard strengthening, range of motion exercises, and a lot of work on a stationary bike to achieve my prehab goals. The main four were reducing any swelling in my knee, maximizing my range of motion, reducing any limping I had, and then slowly starting to maximize the strength in my left leg so that it could match my right. Doing your prehab in preparation for surgery, as I said, is one of the most important things you can do because not only does it give you the opportunity to start preparing your muscles and your body to minimize the effects of the injury, it also gives you a chance to start to mentally prepare for your surgery. Going into surgery can be a really scary thing. I know for me, I was really nervous considering it was my first surgery, but I took a lot of comfort in knowing that ACL surgery is actually a really, really common procedure. It involves taking out the damaged ACL and replacing it with a piece of muscle tendon. For me, they used a piece of my hamstring tendon, but there are other procedures that use patellar tendon, quadriceps tendon, and even donor grafts. Coming out of surgery, the first three days were probably the most difficult for me. I know sort of the morning after at about 3 a.m. when the painkillers wore off, I realized just how effective they've been at that point. And for the next two days, it kind of felt like my leg was ignoring me when I was telling it to move. If I tried to get up and walk around, the weight of my lower leg on my knee caused a ton of pain. And as a result of that, I was pretty much stuck in bed for those first two days, um, just doing small range of motion exercises and doing a lot of icing. And I was really dependent on my family for basically everything I needed to be doing at the time. Those first two days were some of the most mentally confronting for me because, you know, looking ahead to the prospect of being able to do something like run again is really hard when something like rolling over in bed feels as difficult as it did at the time. That all started to get easier by probably about day four. At that point, I was walking around pretty much on my own using my crutches um, and felt like I kind of had a little bit of that independence back. By about two weeks, I was off my crutches entirely, and within a month, I was able to move around the way I needed to. I was cycling, I was able to walk up and down stairs one step at a time, and I only really had pain when I was doing some of my more difficult exercises at that point. It took me to about the six week mark before I was back in the gym consistently, and back at work, and by that point, I was only feeling really sore or swollen towards the end of a really long day on my feet. It's pretty normal for people to start feeling usually really good in that two to four month mark and start to really look to kick their rehab into next gear. But coincidentally, that also happens to be the time when the ACL is at its weakest between that six to 12 week mark. And that's one of the highest times for risk of re-tear. By about five months after the surgery, I felt stronger than I had beforehand and like I was moving quite well. I had a little bit of restriction in my knee as far as going into a full bend, but otherwise I didn't feel like I had any problems at that point. My biggest issue was more of a mental block around reintroducing some new movements. Um, things like jumping and twisting and landing were all a little bit scary just because I hadn't done them in so long and I wasn't sure how my knee was going to respond to something like that being reintroduced. Beyond that, not being able to play sports was probably the hardest part of it. I'd always kind of pictured myself as an athlete, so coming into this, it almost felt like a piece of my identity was missing along with this huge chunk of my social life. And I know that I really felt the impacts of that on my mental health, especially as I got towards the later stages of my rehab when things were feeling quite good, but I knew I wasn't quite ready to get back to it. Current research says that you need to take at least nine months after surgery before getting back into sports, but it's important to recognize that it isn't just about the passage of time and letting your body heal. 
Most of the current research suggests using criteria-based protocols, which basically presents a patient with a checklist of the things that they need to be able to do before they can graduate into the next stage of their rehab. This allows you to respect tissue healing times, but most importantly, make sure that the rehab is individualized to that person and they're able to achieve the things that they need to achieve before they go back into sports. I know my ACL tear was a big education in just how individualized that needs to be. I know before the injury, I'd treated patients who'd come in and they were walking without crutches the day after surgery and they progressed a lot faster than I did. And that was very frustrating at the time, um, but it really did emphasize just how individual that process needs to be and the fact that every person is gonna recover from this differently and your rehab needs to fit into your life and needs to fit with your goals.